What is up, YouTube? Four Leaf Cards here. Hey, thanks so much for clicking. Uh, got some things to show you here from Mail Day 4. Actually, I have two boxes to go through on these big shipments. And then, actually, I have Mail Day 5. Um, just need to crank these out, which is good because I'm doing no card uh, November where I'm not going to buy any cards in November, I think. I'm going to try. And I just need to get these mail days recorded so I can get them organized. And I don't think I, I don't recall going through these. And so I think we'll just, uh, maybe we'll try to bang out a half of a box each and make a couple videos here. Just uh, killing some time here this evening. And I uh, wanted to show you what's going on here. So, I'm going to grab a stack. Maybe we'll go to this. Do you want the fat card in or out? Let's leave the fat card for the next one. And uh, then I can get, when I get back, I can organize these and uh, actually speaking of organizing I, I think I have a couple of these spellbounds close to being done um you know I'm gonna do the zoomed in I'm playing around with this new phone and I'm gonna zoom into this mid-level because it seems like the uh the uh let me yeah seems like that far away wide view doesn't focus in very well on the cards so just learning the new uh the new phone appreciate you going along on the the journey with me a little stuffed up here just a fall time kind of thing i usually get that so but uh here's a, a zenith spellbound greg maddox pretty sweet cards i'm trying to do a couple of those we'll see what happens pedro passing the torch numbered it is out of a hundred that is a pretty sweet Pedro card so just a reminder this is mail day four I don't even know I bought these like oh man like February or something let's call it February and uh, had them shipped in I don't know April or May or something like that or June I can't remember when these all came but it's been a while and uh there's a yellow variety of this Bowman, David Ortiz. That is numbered out of 99. Um, so it's been a while, so I am seeing a lot of these cards for the first time, and I don't even recall what I was searching for. Here's a statistical standout. I've since bought a massive Frank Thomas collection. I'm not sure if I had this one. There was like 400 uh, in a unique cards in that Frank Thomas collection, so I I think I have that one, but I didn't pay much for any of these, so I'm not too upset. I mean, it's, hey, it's Frank Thomas. I mean, he's all a favor. Um, there's a top, top's finest pudge. I love these. This is a Griffey. This is a good one from Pacific, where you can see through there. These are some of my favorites. That's a Griffey. That one's pretty good. A little Mo Vaughn. I don't know what I'm going to do with Mo Vaughn. I'm going to like half PC it, like move on only in Red Sox unis, maybe. There's a Paul Molitor. Oh, A-Rod, Back to the Future. It's a nice shiny card. Here's a Nomar, Top Stars, the Silver Variety. This is a nice card. I think I, I, I went a little bit higher on this one. I think it might have been four bucks or something. That is a beautiful card. I picked up that Mike Trout stained glass. Then I got a Ted Williams stained glass. And I am really digging these stained glass cards. This is a beautiful card. Wow. Skylines of Ray Allen. So that's him as a buck. But uh, some nice embossing there. And uh, the C's are numbered out of uh, 2,500. He's a Celtic in my mind. There's the uh, Alan Beginner X, Garcia Para, Fleer Ultra Gold, Patrick Ewing, Troy Millett. I think I have this one already. It's going to go on my funny card list. There's a Pedro. That is not the gold variety. 
But this is a gold team, 2017 certified gold team Tom Brady. Some Randy Johnson. I think I want to put this one. This is a 95 score, but it's the uh, the shiny version. I think I want to put that one in my funny poses collection, maybe. Here's Starstruck. You can see kind of the shine, the glow, if you will, of these cards. This is from uh, Ultimate Victory, Vlad. We're never going to finish if I keep going this slow. Here's a Roger Clemens and a Yankees. Gary. I don't know if I want to collect that or not. David Reed. He was a Boston Bruins player. But I think this is... Yeah, here's a Bruins. 83. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years with the Bruins. So I got a little one of him going on. There's a Nomar Prism from 2000. This is a gold signature Eckersley. That was super cheap. I couldn't pass it up. This is a numbered Brett Saberhagen uh, in a Red Sox uni. I think I kind of missed that. Uh, Saberhagen was uh, nine. This is a 99. He was kind of like the end. I had stopped collecting there. And uh, Saberhagen was always a good player. And. Uh, I forgot that he was on the Red Sox, to be honest with you, for being Frank. Frank? Who's Frank? No, we're not being Frank. This is a uh, Roger Clemens um, authentic game-worn jersey while pitching for the Boston Red Sox, numbered out of 399. So just I have been picking up a little bit of Clemens. He's just a dominating pitcher. Um, Marvin Harrison. I want to say this might be his it's like rookie year or something like that. Diamond Dignitaries, Derek Jeter. Look at the shine on this thing. Ooh. Here's a, uh, these are these steel, leaf steel cards. Right, leaf, I think it's leaf. Don Russ, printed by Don Russ. But they're like actually steel. It's a really cool card. I didn't have that Clemens. Aha, here's the uh, the E for Greg Maddox. Uh, let's put these out here. I can't remember if I got him done or not. So, uh, R-E, we got him going. We got him going. We might have this one finished here in these boxes. Here's a Chuck Schilling um, rookie card. This one was just in really good shape, and it was, like, cheap. So, picked it up. Tony Gonzalez, rookie. This is a Julian Edelman high flyer, super shiny, cool card, so I picked it up. Here's a Trevor Hoffman top star, silver variety. This is the Barry Bond silver slugger card. A little bit different there from 91. Um, upper deck. So, Silver Slugger, a little bit different variety there. There's the silver of that uh, gold Eckersley. Here's a Fred McGriff. Um, dual Relic. This is, should be numbered. Yep, numbered out of 100. So, that's kind of a cool card. Here's a Ricky Henderson. This is when he's playing for the Mets. But I love these EX cards. So... Picked it up. I'm thinking about doing a set. Did not have Henderson, I don't think. Aha. This is, um, you know who stimulated me on this is uh, Eric over at Those Back Pages. He got the 3D card, you know, this 3D Acuna card. I look back and the, the, you know, this opening day had these 3D cards too. I just can't afford the Acuna. And I, I saw this Ortiz and I've uh, been kind of picking that up so i got something that's somewhat similar i'll tell you what they do look you know in person they look pretty cool here's a couple of holographics nomars from my nomar collection and this was a cool card from metal universe this is 97 pedro um super foiled up just baseballs coming out you know, like crazy like get out of the way they're coming and that was pedro so Excuse me. Here's an Ortiz Bowman Bass, number to 250. This is a Nomar. This one should be numbered. Yep, out of 3,500. That's an Upper Deck SPX. 
Here's these uh, number crunchers. I think I got that. Larry Walker or Frank Thomas in that big bulk buy. Here's a Roger Clemens. This one's almost kind of like a 3D. You can see the ball kind of coming at you, but it's from Denny's out of Pinnacle. This is a um, Pinnacle Phillies. It's a museum collection. Who is that? Hey, Phillies guys, who is that? Why did I buy that? Other than it's pretty sweet doofex. I don't really buy a whole lot of Phillies. It's not shilling. I don't know. Phillies guys, fill me in why I bought that card. Who the heck is that? Is that somebody? That's going to bother me. Anyway, here's a Bagwell in the EX. Oh, Brian Hoyer. A couple Brian Hoyer rookie cards. I didn't know what was going to go on with Brian Hoyer. Um, just played in the NFL bunch, so figured I'd get a couple of his rookie cards. Diamond Stars, Ortiz on opening day. Splendid Splinters. These are cool. Um, from Fleer. Numbered out of 349. So I figured I'd pick up that Nomar. I didn't have too much of that. This is a really sweet die cut. It's like a stamp from Pacific Paramount. Nomar for my Nomar collection. Wave of the Future, Trevor Hoffman. It's an ultimate victory, Trevor Hoffman. Big, big leg kick there. Ah, jerky fruits. Auto Junkyard Candy. Kipo Jerky Fruits. I don't know. Got into some of this weird stuff. I don't know. It's just, it was cheap. Don't judge. Come on now. This one's numbered out of uh, 50. Craig Kimbrell. Obviously in a Red Sox uni. Here's the Nomar Skylines. I think I got the Jeter one of that. Prestigious Pros. LeBron. the heat this one's numbered out of 499 so a little bit of numbered lebron action been trying to add a little bit of different sports in there here's a pedro and vlad face to face this one's numbered out of 150 jeff bagwell this is splendid splinters bagwell those are pretty cool cards here's a star view nomar Dreamcast Pedro, this is uh, from Top's Finest. Kind of some doofexy action going on there. I like that one. Aha, here's another opening day of Pedroia. Impact players, Manny Ramirez. Number cruncher, Frank Thomas, which I might have in that big bulk buy. I don't know. Tim Salmon, I'm building that set. Um, here's that Dennis Eckersley. Got the silver and the gold and the base. Hobby Masters Nomar. Ooh, this is nice. What is this? Collector's Choice. I'm not sure I've seen anything like this before yet. You Crash the Game, September 24th to September 26th. Boy, those are fancy. Wow. Shine on that's nice. Boston Red Sox production line Nomar is the production lines numbered? Yeah, they are out of uh, 1033. This is a press proof Don Russ, Steve Avery, not a Steve Avery in a Red Sox uni. Press proof another face to face Pedro and Gary Sheffield. That one's numbered to 150. Carlos Correa. It's one of these funny uh, sized ones from Bowman. Shiny, shiny. Here's a Granky. Try to add a little bit of him in, but I don't know. Maybe that's not a good investment. Jeter, that is a good investment. Here's a little Ricky Henderson from the McDonald's cards. Nice Frank Thomas Express, and I don't think I had this one in the bulk buy, so that may be an addition to my new Frank Thomas Super Collection. 
Manny Ramirez, Split and Splitter. Here's another Nomar Relic from 2004. Love, love, love these. Just super foil. You got Andy Pettit on one side and Smoltz on the other. And here's a John Smoltz. God, the shine on these things are just crazy. Uh, here's an Ortiz. This is numbered to $9.99. It's 24th career multi-homer effort to help the Red Sox come back to defeat the Indians in a dramatic fashion. Here's a Barry Bonds. Pinnacle kind of 3D move on uh, Denny's. It's a Buster Posey rookie for Bowman Platinum. And... Keep rocking here. Fleer Futures, Nomar, Glow Stars. I can't remember. These were, these were like a sticker. And I can't remember if they... I think the out... I think the green parts glow. I'm pretty sure. Here's a Miguel Cabrera. Opening day. Bobby Abreu, Wave of the Future, Statistical Standout King Griffey. Here's another Granky. I think it's in his like rookie year kind of thing. Here's a Starstruck Griffey. Guess I'm gonna have a couple of doubles, triples. Here's a Pedro Die Cut SP. Fleer Mystique Trot Nixon for my PC for Trot. He was the just Reminder, he was like the first guy I ever got an in-person autograph from when he was down at Pawtucket. Which tells you how, uh, here you go. He was in Pawtucket. And, oh, come on, focus in there. 97 to 98. <coughs> Excuse me. Kurt Schilling in the EX variety. There's a Nomar in the Starstruck. Smoltz and Pettit again. I guess I get doubles on that. I got this is a, this is why I need to slow down and organize. Get my doubles all squared away. There's a Pedro from Pacific. Twenty-four carat A Rod Gold Reserve. There's an Eddie Murray man. Old old Eddie Murray. It's like gotta be one of his last years. That one's numbered out of one nine nine nine. There's a nice die cut shilling. Is that really 30? I think that's 32 out of 38. That one's pretty rare. That's a nice shilling card. Hmm. Jo little Josh Gibson action going on here from Ginner. Picking up some collecting habits from some other people, if you will. Bleacher Reacher Ken Griffey. Oh man, it's a Yelich rookie. It's another Yelich rookie. Wish he didn't hurt his knee. Scherzer rookie card. I love these upper deck masterpieces. Probably one of my favorite sets. I'd love to build that someday. Ben Intendi rookie. Frank Thomas launchers. And I think I might have that one already. I can't remember if it was in the bulk buy or not. I feel like it might be. Here's a Bagwell. These are this kind of goes along the lines of the uh, stained glass. Um, yeah, stained glass stars from Studio ninety six. Bagwell, just a beautiful. I, I'm just loving those stained glass cards. Trevor Hoffman, Cincinnati top prospects ninety three upper deck. There's a Lester blue variety for my Lester collection. Man, I forgot I bought this. A Stanton rookie. Huh. Forgot about that. There's another Stanton rookie from Blow Bow Bleh Bleh Bowman. This is what happens when you do videos late at night. Rookie card of Nick Marcakis. Didn't have any of that, so I bought one. There's a Tim Raines, a little bit of hulking going on here, but it's top's finest. Didn't have that, so I picked it up. It was pretty cheap. Here's a shilling press proof die cut. Um, not numbered, but those are pretty. There's not a whole lot of those out there. Here's this uh, Lavero Derek Cheater. Look at how young he is. Man, so young. Mike Messina, first round pick. 
Nice frozen ball picture. Diamond Dignitaries Griffey. Here's an A Rod for Corey Seeger. And finishing up with Franchise Best, Die Cut, Gold Foil, Bowman's Best, Nomar Garcia Para. Bowman's Best from, oh, numbered out of 3,000 from 99, I think is what that says. We'll end up with that one. Hey, that's uh, the first half of the first box in Mail Day 4. So thanks for clicking, watching, and seeing what's coming in the mail. we got a couple more of these to do. Hopefully I can crank them out tonight and then get some sleep. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks so much for clicking. If you guys are open to anything, best of luck to you guys. Don't forget to click to connect. Check some of the guys out in the hobby. And have an awesome day.